in today's video i'm going to be teaching you all four bible psalms that you are going to use to pray in order for you to attain financial breakthrough from god almighty hello my amazing people how are you all doing i hope i met you well it's your girl once again blessing and in this channel i try my best to teach to teach you all about natural remedies and also spiritual tips using natural remedies that are all created by god almighty and i also try my best to draw you closer to god because in all that we do here on earth if we don't put god first then we are doing absolutely nothing okay so god is always number one in my life and that's also the reason why i try my best to bring you all that is here on my channel closer to god all right now if you're seeing my face for the first time you are highly welcome i appreciate you do well to subscribe to this my channels and also turn on your bell notification button so that you will always get notified every time I upload new video and if you also find value in this video at the end of it please do want to give me thumbs up like this video as that will help me a lot in this my video and for my returning subscribers I appreciate you all very much thank you and God bless you so what's the topic of um, today's video in today's video I'm going to be teaching you all four Bible Psalms that you are going to use to pray in order for you to attain financial breakthrough from God Almighty. Yes. And I'm not going to waste your time. Rather, I'm going to go straight to the point. Now, for you out there that has prayed, maybe you have fasted, you have done, you know, all you needed to do, and maybe you feel God has not answered this answered your prayer or maybe god does not want to answer your prayers maybe there is a way that you've not been doing it that god has actually you know been waiting for you to do it that way please i am urging you to go and try this my recipe and use it to pray for seven days and after praying for seven days i assure you that you surely come back to this same video of mine and give your testimony on the comment section of this video so the number one verse the number one chapter or bible portion that you are going to read is psalm 51 why do i always hint on this psalm 51 you all know that we are all human beings sometimes you commit sin even the way i'm talking maybe i have said something that you know that i have used to air without even my knowing so in order for us to always get what we want from the creator of heaven and earth when we pray to god and ask him for anything that we need we always need to ask god in heaven for forgiveness and when we ask our king of kings our creator and our maker he that's created that was not created for for the forgiveness of our sins he will see that yes truly this his or her child, this is son, this is daughter, is truly making her. This is child truly needs this from him. All right, and God in heaven will forgive every sins that we have committed. Now, after that, after reading your Psalm 51, the next thing you should do is to not ask your God in heaven for the things that you need using the remaining Psalms. Now, the number two Psalm that you should use to pray and ask God in heaven for what you want is Psalm 121. That is Psalm 121. You read it from verse 1 to the end. Okay? Yes. As you're reading it, you're reminding God of his promises and his words in the Bible. Okay? As you're reading it, this is my Bible. As you're reading this Bible portion that I'm giving you, you are praying and asking God to liberate you. To give you, to, you remind God that he's the owner and maker of everything, anything that has to do with wealth that is his own. And that you are his child, that you cannot be God's child and be poor. You cannot be God's child, you cannot be serving God and people will be asking you, where is your God? No. 
you pray and pray very well and tell God in heaven that he should bless you that oh God of creator of heaven oh God of heaven and earth, let it be known that you are my God you tell God in heaven that in the presence of those asking you that where is your God that oh God arise and let it be known that he is your God okay you pray as you read his words that is Psalm 121 I'm sorry guys I wrote them down because I don't want to make mistakes okay so that's why I I try to write down the Bible portions so after praying and praying and praying very well you pray and ask God in heaven to beautify you that oh God of creation that in the presence of those asking you that where is your God that oh God arise and announce your name that Jehovah should arise and announce your name you pray and tell God in heaven to single you out from the crowd for greatness I'm trying to give you, you know, give you, give you prayer points. I don't know if you understand. You tell God in the presence of those mocking you that let it be known that Jehovah is your God. That God is the owner and maker of all wealth. That God is not like him. So because he is your father, it is your best right, it is your bona fide right to ask the creator of heaven and earth for everything good that you need. And because he said that we should ask and it shall be given unto us, God will give it to you. Do this for seven days, seven straight days for me. And come back to this, my channel, and testify. Because I am sure you are, God is going to lift you up financially and you will never fall again as you do this obediently. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So what is the third Bible portion that you're going to read? You are going to read Psalm 34, Psalm 34 verse 10. Okay, you read Psalm 34 verse 10. Now, in summary, you now summarize it with Psalm 23 from verse 1 to the end. So after reading your Psalm 23 from verse 1 to the end, you pray to God in heaven and also ask him for his protection. Ask Jehovah that as he's blessing you, Blessing your family, giving you money, giving you financial abundance, giving you financial breakthroughs, that it should also protect you and remove the eyes of the wicked ones from your life, from your family's life, from your world, and from every good thing that God in heaven is about to give to you or has given you already. Okay? Do this place for seven days. Every midnight by 12 a.m., you wake up and take your Bible and praise God. And after praising God, singing songs and praises to God of creation and thank your Father and your Maker and thank God in heaven. Then you now ask your God in heaven for forgiveness. After that, you now read these Bible verses I have given you all here. And then ask God for what you want. Okay? And then your testimony awaits you. I can't wait to hear you testify on this my channel. So my wonderful people and amazing people i have come to the end of this video if you appreciate this video if you find value in this video please do also give me thumbs up as that will help me a lot in this my channel okay and if you also see my face for the first time and you've watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed please i want to use this opportunity to remind you to please subscribe and also do well to turn on your bell notification button so that you'll always be notified every time i upload videos like this one okay and for my returning subscribers you all are my real mvps i appreciate you so much i don't take your support for granted god bless you thank you and see you all on my next video thank you bye bye remain blessed